Mansfield, Ohio. Mansfield is a city in in the county seat of Richland County, Ohio, United States. Located midway between Columbus and Cleveland via Interstate 71, it is part of Northeast Ohio and North Central Ohio regions in the western foothills of the Allegheny Plateau. The city lies approximately northeast of Columbus, southwest of Cleveland and southeast of Toledo. The city was founded in 1808 on a fork of the Mohican River in a hilly region surrounded by fertile farmlands, and became a manufacturing center owing to its location with numerous railroad lines. After the decline of heavy manufacturing, the city's economy has since diversified into a service economy, including retailing, education, and healthcare sectors. The 2010 census showed that the city had a total population of 47,821, making it Ohio's 19th largest city. The city anchors the Mansfield Metropolitan Statistical Area, MSA, which had a population of 124,475 residents in 2010, while the Mansfield Bucyrus, O Combined Statistical Area, CSA, had 221,398 residents. Mansfield's official nickname is the Fun Center of Ohio. It is the largest city in the mid Ohio region of the state, the North Central region, which is generally considered to extend from Marion, Delaware, Knox, Morrow, Crawford, Ashland, and Richland counties in the south, to the Firelands area south of Sandusky in the north. Mansfield is also known as the Carousel Capital of Ohio, Danger City, and Racing Capital of Ohio. Anchored by the Richland Carousel District, Downtown Mansfield is home to a number of attractions and arts venues. Concert events in the downtown Brickyard venue have drawn crowds numbering over 5,000 people. Mansfield, in partnership with local and national partners, is addressing blight and economic stagnation in the city center. The Renaissance Performing Arts Association at home in the historic Renaissance Theater annually presents and produces Broadway style productions, classical music, comedy, arts education programs, concerts, lectures, and family events to more than 50, 000 people. The Renaissance Performing Arts is home of the Mansfield Symphony. Downtown is also home to two ballet companies, Neos Ballet Theater and Richland Academy Dance Ensemble who both perform and offer community dance opportunities in downtown. Mid-Ohio Opera offers performances off all opera and smaller concerts. Mansfield was laid out and founded by James Hedges, Joseph Larwell, and Jacob Newman and was planted in June 1808 as a settlement. It was named for Colonel Jared Mansfield, the United States Surveyor General who directed its planning. Originally platted as a square, known today as the Public Square or Central Park. During that same year of its founding, a log cabin was built by Samuel Martin on Lot 97, where the HL rebuilding is now, making it the first and only house to be built in Mansfield in 1808. Martin lived in the cabin during the winter and illegally sold whiskey to Indians, which compelled Martin to flee the country. James Cunningham moved into the cabin in the year of 1809. At that time, there were less than a dozen settlers in Richland County and Ohio was still largely wilderness. Two blockhouses were erected on the public square during the War of 1812 for protection against the North American colonies and its Indian allies. The blockhouses were erected in a single night. After the war ended, the first courthouse and jail of Richland County were located in one of two blockhouses until 1816. The blockhouse was later used as a school with Eliza Wolf being its teacher. Mansfield was incorporated as a village in 1828 and then as a city in 1857 with a population of 5,121. Between 1846 and 1863, the railroads came to the city with the Sandusky. Mansfield and Newark Railroad being the first railroad to reach Mansfield in 1846, the Pittsburgh, Fort Wayne and Chicago Railway in 1849, and the Atlantic and Great Western Railroad in 1863. By 1890, 13,473 people lived in the city. The town was a center of manufacturing and trade in north-central Ohio thanks to the four railroads that passed through the community. Dozens of manufacturing businesses operated in the town producing doors, brass objects, linseed oil, suspenders, paper boxes, and numerous other items. Mansfield's largest employer was a cigar maker, Hotson Rotor & Company, with 285 employees in 1888. By 1908, the blockhouse became a symbol of Mansfield's heritage during its 100th birthday celebration, and in 1929, the blockhouse was relocated to its present location at South Park. In 1913, 
Parts of Mansfield were flooded when the Great Flood of 1913 brought of rainfall across Ohio between March 23 and March 24. The first road across America, the Lincoln Highway, came to the city in 1913, smoothing the path for economic growth. In 1924, Oak Hill Cottage, a Gothic Revival brick house, built in 1847 by John Robinson, superintendent of the Sandusky, Mansfield and Newark Railroad was the setting of the Green Bay Tree, Mansfield native Louis Bromfield's first novel. Like many cities in the Rust Belt, the 1970s and 1980s brought urban blight, and losses of significant household name blue-collar manufacturing jobs. In recent years, Mansfield's downtown, which once underscored the community's economic difficulties, has seen innovative revitalization through the establishment of Main Street Mansfield, known today as Downtown Mansfield Incorporated, and is a site of new business growth. In 1993, Lydia Reed was sworn in as the city's first female mayor and became the longest-serving mayor of Mansfield encompassing three four-year terms. On November 6, 2007, the people of Mansfield elected Donald Culliver as the city's first black mayor who was preceded by Lydia Reed. In December 2009, the city was placed on fiscal watch by the state auditor citing substantial deficit balances and structural operating general funds. On August 19, 2010, Mansfield would become Ohio's largest city to be declared in fiscal emergency with a deficit of $3.8 million after city officials failed to pass measures on cost savings and cut spending, blaming it on the Great Recession. The city's financial crisis lasted nearly four years before being lifted out of fiscal emergency on July 9, 2014. Mansfield is located at 40.754856 minus 82.522855, directly between Columbus and Cleveland. However, the city lies in the western foothills of the Allegheny Plateau, and its elevation is among the highest of Ohio cities. The highest point in the city above sea level is located at the Woodland Reservoir, an underground water storage service reservoir along Woodland Road in southwest Mansfield. The elevation in downtown Mansfield, which is located at Central Park is above sea level, and at Mansfield Lamb Airport, the elevation is above sea level. The highest point in Richland County, second highest point in Ohio, after Campbell Hill, is between and above sea level is located southwest of the city, just off Lexington, Ontario Road at Apple Hill Orchards and Springfield Township. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which, is land and is water. Mansfield is bordered by Madison Township to the east, northwest and southwest, Franklin Township to the north, Weller Township to the northeast, Washington Township to the south, Troy Township to the southwest, Springfield Township and the suburban city of Ontario to the west. Mansfield has a humid continental climate, Kutpin DFA slash DFB, typical of the Midwest, with four distinct seasons. Winters are cold and dry but typically bring a mix of rain, sleet and snow with occasional heavy snowfall and icing. January is the coldest month with an average mean temperature of, with temperatures dropping to or below 5.3 days per year on average. Snowfall is lighter than in the snow belt areas to the northeast, but is still somewhat influenced by Lake Erie, located north of the city. Snowfall averages per season. The greatest 24-hour snowfall was on December 22 to 23. 2004 when the city was impacted by a major ice storm following the pre-Christmas 2004 snowstorm, bringing with it a band of freezing rain and sleet led by ice and snow accumulations. Another notable snowstorm to impact the region was the Great Blizzard of 1978. The snowiest month on record was in February 2010, while winter snowfall amounts have ranged from in 1995-96 to in 1932-33. Springs are short with rapid transition from hard winter to sometimes very warm, and humid conditions. Summers are typically very warm, sometimes hot, and humid with temperatures exceeding 6 days per year on average. July is the warmest month with an average mean temperature of. Fall usually is the driest season with many clear warm days and cool nights. Severe thunderstorms are not uncommon during the spring, summer, and fall bring within the threat of large hail damaging winds and in rare cases tornadoes. Flooding can also occur from time to time such as the 2007 Midwest flooding that took place in the region on August 20 to 21, 2007 when Mansfield received Ophrain in 24 hours. Monthly precipitation has ranged from in July 1992 to in December 1955, while for annual precipitation the historical ranges in 1992 and 1963. 
The all-time record high temperature in Mansfield of was established on July 21, 1934, which occurred during the Dust Bowl drought of the 1930s, and the all-time record low temperature of was set on January 19, 1994, and January 20, 1985. The first and last freezes of the season on average fall on October 17 and April 27, respectively, allowing a growing season of 172 days. The normal annual mean temperature is Normal yearly precipitation based on the 30-year average from 1981 to 2010 is falling on an average 150 days. As of the census of 2010, there were 47,821 people, 18,696 households, and 10,655 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 22,022 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 73.3% white, 22.1% African American, 0.2% Native American, 0.7% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, half a percent from other races, and 3.0% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.9% of the population. There were 18,696 households of which 27.5% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 36.0% were married couples living together, 16.6% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.4% had a male householder with no wife present, and 43.0% were non-families. 37.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.21 and the average family size was 2.88. The median age in the city was 38.5 years. 20.2% of residents were under the age of 18, 10.1% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 28% were from 25 to 44. 26% were from 45 to 64, and 15.7% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 53.0% male and 47.0% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 49,346 people, 20,182 households, and 12,028 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,649.8 people per square mile, 637.0 per square kilometer. There were 22,267 housing units at an average density of 744.6 per square mile, 287.4 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 76.77% white, 19.65% African American, 0.28% Native American. 0.63% Asian, 0.04% Pacific Islander, 0.56% from other races, and 2.07% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.23% of the population. There were 20,182 households out of which 27.3% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 40.5% were married couples living together. 15.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.4% were non-families. 34.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.28 and the average family size was 2.93. In the city the population was spread out with 23.9% under the age of 18, 9.3% from 18 to 24, 29.7% from 25 to 44, 21.7% from 45 to 64, and 15.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 98.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over. There were 96.1 males. The median income for a household in the city was $30,176, and the median income for a family was $37,541. Males had a median income of $30,861 versus $21,951 for females. The per capita income for the city was $17,726.
about 13.2% of families and 16.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 24.5% of those under age 18 and 9.6% of those age 65 or over. As of 2000, speakers of English accounted for 95.98% of residents, Spanish by 1.46%, German by 1.11% and French speakers comprised 0.56% of the population. Other languages that were spoken throughout the city include Chinese at 0.21%, Italian at 0.17%, Japanese at 0.11%, and Greek at 0.10% of the population. Mansfield also has a small percentage of residents who speak first languages other than English at home, 4.02%. Mansfield has a mayor-council government. The mayor who is elected every four years, always in November, one year before United States presidential elections and limited to a maximum of three terms. Mayors are traditionally inaugurated on or around the 1st of December. The current mayor is Timothy Thicker, a Republican, elected in 2011. Mansfield City Council is an eight-member legislative group that serve four-year terms. Six of the members represent specific wards, two are elected citywide as at-large council members. Democrat Philip Scott has been Mansfield's council president since November 2007. While Mansfield and Richland County have historically supported the Republican Party for decades, other parts of Ohio like Cleveland and parts of Northeast Ohio have historically supported the Democratic Party. During the 2008 presidential election, although Barack Obama carried Ohio, John McCain carried Richland County. Mansfield is currently represented in the U.S. House of Representatives by Pat DeBerry, R., in the U.S. Senate by Rob Portman, R., and Sherrod Brown, D., in the State Senate by Larry Obhoff, R., and in the State House by Mark Romanchik, R. The city of Mansfield is policed by a municipal police department, the Mansfield Division of Police. According to the FBI statistics released in 2012, Mansfield has a violent crime rate far below the national average, with only one homicide reported in the city that year. Property crime rates were slightly below the national average. 178 violent offenses, one murder, 27 forcible rapes, 93 robberies, and 57 aggravated assaults were reported in 2012, compared with 3,205 property crimes, 1,016 burglaries, 2,104 larceny thefts. 85 motor vehicle thefts and 51 arsons, that were reported that same year. NeighborhoodScout.com reported a crime rate of 69.27 per 1,000 residents for property crimes, and 2.91 per 1,000 for violent crimes, compared to national figures of 32 per 1,000 for property crimes and 5 per 1,000 for violent crime in 2008. Mansfield's greatest period of industrial development was led by the city's home appliances and stove manufacturing industries, including Westinghouse Electric Corporation and the Tap and Stove Company. By the late 1920s, Westinghouse had become the city's largest employer, with over 8,000 employees, specializing in electric lighting, industrial heating and engineering, and home appliances. However, like many cities in the Rust Belt, Mansfield experienced a large decline in its manufacturing and retail sectors. Beginning with the steel recession of the 1970s, the loss of jobs to overseas manufacturing, prolonged labor disputes, and deteriorating factory facilities all contributed to heavy industry leaving the area. Mansfield Tire and Rubber Company, Ohio Brass Company, Westinghouse, Tappan and many other manufacturing plants were either bought out, relocated or closed, leaving only the AK Steel plant in Mansfield as the last remaining heavy industry employers. The AK Steel Mansfield Works Production Facility, formerly Armco Steel was the location of a violent three-year United Steelworkers Union lockout and strike from 1999 to 2002. On June 1, 2009, General Motors filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and announced that its Ontario stamping plant, Mansfield Ontario Metal Centre, would close in June 2010. With the loss of the jobs, locally owned businesses in downtown Mansfield closed, as did much of the retail built in the 1960s along Park Avenue West formerly known as the Miracle Mile, and Lexington Avenue. New big box retail, shopping strips and franchise restaurants have been built in the adjacent suburban city of Ontario, which has replaced Mansfield as the retail hub for Richland County in north-central Ohio. The city has sought to diversify its economy to become less dependent on its struggling manufacturing sector.
Remaining manufacturers in Mansfield include steel manufacturer AK Steel, Honda supplier Newman Technology Inc., generator manufacturer Hyundai Ideal Electric Company, thermostats manufacturer Thermodisc, pumps manufacturer The Gorman Rupp Company, plumbing manufacturer Crane Plumbing, paper merchant converting center and warehouse Sabine Robbins Converting Company, carousel manufacturer The Carousel Works, business process outsourcing company StarTech. Educational Products Supplier School Specialty Incorporated has a distribution center in Mansfield, and Mansfield Engineered Components, a designer and manufacturer of motion control components for the appliance, transportation, medical case goods and general industrial markets. Mansfield's healthcare industry includes Med Central Health System, the city's largest employer and the largest in Richland County. The hospital is the city's primary provider of healthcare and serves as the major regional trauma center for North Central Ohio. Mansfield is also home of three well-known food companies. Isley Dairy Company, a.k.a. Isley's, was a chain of family-owned dairies and restaurants starting by William Isley in the early 1900s until the 1970s, famous for creating the Klondike Bar ice cream treat, popularized by the slogan What Would You Do For a Klondike Bar? Stewart's Restaurants is a chain of root beer stands started by Frank Stewart in 1924. Famous for their Stewart's Fountain Classics line off premium beverages now sold worldwide. The Jones Potato Chip Company, started by Frederick W. Jones in 1945 and famous for their Jones Marshalled Potato Chips, is headquartered in Mansfield. From the 1950s through the 1970s, Mansfield was the home of the infamous Highway Safety Foundation, the organization that created the controversial Driver's Education Scare films that featured gruesome film photography taken at fatal automobile accidents in the Mansfield area. The films include Signal 30, 1959, Mechanized Death, 1961, Wheels of Tragedy, 1963, and Highways of Agony, 1969. In addition, the Highway Safety Foundation produced other controversial education films including The Child Molester and Camera Surveillance, both 1964. In 1962, the Highway Safety Foundation loaned camera equipment to the Mansfield Police Department to film the escapades of some of the city's homosexual men, who met for sexual relations in an underground public restroom on the north side of Central Park. The men filmed were charged under Ohio's sodomy law, and all served a minimum of one year in the state penitentiary. The resulting footage, combined with overdubbed audio commentary by officials of the Mansfield Police Department, was eventually compiled by HSF as the 1964 film Camera Surveillance. Video artist William E. Jones of Massillon, Ohio, obtained copies of the original footage shot by the Mansfield Police Department. Jones transferred the grainy color footage of the original police surveillance films to video and removed the police commentary, presenting it as a silent piece entitled Tea Room, 2007. Jones's film was featured in an exhibit at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York in 2008. Mansfield has also been used as a location for several big-budget Hollywood movies, among the most notable of these were The Shawshank Redemption, Air Force One, and Tango and Cash, all of which featured the Ohio State Reformatory as a backdrop and pivotal scene. Robert F. Simon, 1908-1992, an American character actor who appeared in film and on television from 1950-1985, was born in Mansfield. The Mansfield Slash Mock Relays, an annual two-day invitational track and field meet for high school boys and girls, held in April since 1927, except for Second World War years, began on the initiative of Harry Mock, track coach at host Mansfield Senior High School. The Miss Ohio Pageant, Miss America Preliminary, hosted by Mansfield since 1975, is staged annually at the Renaissance. The Richland County Fair is also held in Mansfield at the Richland County Fairgrounds. The fair is held in the beginning of August. The fair started on October 26, 1849. In 1872 and 1873, Mansfield also hosted the Ohio State Fair. At the fair there are several rides, livestock judging. Annual master classes given by world-famous master musicians are presented by Mid-Ohio Opera. They are hosted by the Ohio State University Mansfield and John and Pearl Connard Performance Hall. Dr. Arlene Schrutt from the Juilliard School was the first presenter in 2016. Metropolitan Opera Tenor, John Fowler is engaged for 2017. Mansfield is home to the old Ohio State Reformatory, constructed between 1886 and 1910 to resemble a German castle. The supervising architect was F. F. Schnitzer, 
who was responsible for construction and was presented with a silver double inkwell by the governor of the state in a lavish ceremony to thank him for his services. The reformatory is located north of downtown Mansfield on Ohio 545, and has been the location for many major films, including The Shawshank Redemption, Harry and Walter Go to New York, Air Force One and Tango and Cash. Most of the prison yard has now been demolished to make room for expansion of the adjacent Mansfield Correctional Institution and Richland Correctional Institution, but the reformatory's Gothic-style administration building remains standing and due to its prominent use in films, has become a tourist attraction. The building is used during the Halloween season each year as a haunted attraction known as the Haunted Reformatory. Many people visit Mansfield to take part in the haunted tour, some from as far as Michigan and Indiana. Located in the heart of downtown, the Mansfield Memorial Museum, built in 1887, and opened to the public in 1889 as the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall, is a museum of many different exhibits. Oak Hill Cottage, located amongst the ruins of Mansfield's once mighty industrial district, is a Gothic Revival brick house, built in 1847. One of the most perfect carpenter Gothic houses in the United States, it is operated by the Richland County Historical Society. Located in the Woodland neighborhood, the Mansfield Art Center, opened in 1945, is a visual arts organization. Bible Walk, formerly the Living Bible Museum, opened in 1987, is Ohio's only life-size wax museum. The Busman Building, built in 1886, is now open for tours from March to November. The location was featured in Shawshank Redemption as the Brewer Hotel in the Portland Daily Bugle. It was more recently used by the Sci-Fi Channel's Ghost Hunters and in recent music videos. Mansfield has 33 parks ranging in size from the Half Acre Pit Stone Park to the South Park. There are also several public golf courses in and around the city. These include Cool Ridge Golf Course, Forest Hills, Oak Tree, Twin Lakes, and Woolridge Woods Golf and Swim Club. Located in downtown Mansfield's historic Carousel District is the Richland Carousel Park, opened in 1991. It is the first hand-carved indoor wooden carousel to be built and operated in the United States since the early 1930s. It was built by Carousel Works Incorporated Kingwood Center, a estate and gardens, is the former home of Ohio brass industrialist Charles Kelly King. Snow Trail Ski Resort is Ohio's oldest ski resort, opened in 1961, and highest hat. With 16 runs, it is one of the few skiing locations in Ohio. The Richland B&O Bike Trail opened in 1995 and operated by the Richland County Park District, is a paved hiking and bicycle trail laid out on the abandoned Baltimore and Ohio Rail Branch Line from Butler via Belleville and Lexington to North Lake Park in Mansfield. The Renaissance, built in 1927 and opened in 1928 as the Ohio Theater, is a historic 1,402-seat movie palace theater located in downtown Mansfield that presents and produces a range of arts and cultural performances and is the home of the Miss Ohio Pageant, Miss America Preliminary, and the Mansfield Symphony. Mid-Ohio Opera is an opera production company based in downtown Mansfield, Ohio. Started in 2014, Mid-Ohio Opera produces operas and classical vocal concerts in the original languages. The downtown area is the home of the Mansfield Playhouse Ohio's second oldest, and one of its most successful, community theaters. In 2012 the city celebrated the 75th anniversary of Safety Town, a free program developed in Mansfield for pre-kindergarten children about pedestrian safety. Over the years the program, through the efforts of the National Safety Town Center, has been improved to include all aspects of child safety. Programs operate in over 4,000 communities in the U.S. and 38 other countries. Mansfield is served electronically by Richland Source, a strictly digital newspaper. Mansfield is served in print by the Mansfield News Journal, the city's only daily newspaper. A defunct newspaper is the Mansfield Shield. It ran from 1892 to 1912 as the Mansfield Daily Shield, and from 1912 to 1913 as the Mansfield Shield. Mansfield is part of the greater Cleveland radio and television media markets. However, due to its proximity to Columbus, it is common for residents to receive stations from that area as well via over-the-air television transmissions. Mansfield's first AM radio station, 1926, was WLGB, later WJW Mansfield. The Mansfield studio and transmitter were on the ninth floor of the Richland Trust building. WJW moved to Akron in 1932 and the WJW call letters were lottery assigned WJW, now in Cleveland. 
Among Mansfield's current radio stations are locally owned mid-state multimedia properties of WVNO-FM, 106.1, and ESPN Radio WRGM, AM 1440, 97.3 FM, also heard in the Market Wove, 91.7 FM, NPR News and Classical Music Station, WVMC, 90.7 FM, Mansfield Christian Music Station, White, 105.3 FM, Pop Slash Rock, WVNO FM 106.1 Adult Contemporary, Enman, 1400 AM, 98.3 FM, a news slash talk radio station. Mansfield's local television station is WMFD-TV, part of Mid-State Multimedia Group, the first independent digital station in America. Among the station's more popular programs is 4 Hours of News Watch HD Now in High Definition Television at 5, 10 and 11 p.m., local high school football and basketball and extensive local programming. WOCD offers local weather information, local advertising and an audio simulcast of co-owned WVNO-FM 106.1, along with various local sports events, public affairs and educational-slash-informational programs. Mansfield Public Schools enroll 4,591 students in public primary and secondary grades. The district has nine public schools including one Spanish immersion school, four elementary schools, one intermediate school, one middle school, one high school, and one alternative school. Other than public schools, the city is home to two private Catholic schools, St. Mary's Catholic School and St. Peter's High School along with St. Peter's Junior High and St. Peter's Elementary School and two Christian schools, Mansfield Christian School and Temple Christian School. Discovery School, an international baccalaureate candidate school, is the only non-denominational private school in this area. The Madison Local School District serves eastern parts of Mansfield, neighboring Madison Township, most of Mifflin Township, and parts of Washington Township. Mansfield is home to three institutions of higher learning. The Ohio State University has a regional campus at Mansfield, North Central State College, a community college that shares the Mansfield campus with an OSU, and Ashland University's Dwight Shar College of Nursing and Health Sciences, a newly constructed 46,000-square-foot academic and nursing building that opened for classes on August 20, 2012, is a private institution of higher education located on the university's Ball Green campus at Trimble Road and Marion Avenue in Mansfield, offering programs of study leading to the baccalaureate degree in nursing. The Mayor's Education Task Force was founded created in October 2008 in a response to the district's academic emergency status and low community support for the Mansfield City Public School System. The Mansfield-Richland County Public Library, M-RCPL has been serving residents of North Central Ohio since 1887. The system has nine branches throughout Richland County including the main library in downtown Mansfield and locations in Belleville, Butler, Crestview, Lexington, Lucas, Madison Township, Ontario, and Plymouth. Three railroads previously served Mansfield, but currently only two, the Norfolk Southern and the Ashland Railway, provide service in the area. The Sandusky Mansfield and Newark Railroad opened in 1846 and became part of Washington Chicago Main Line of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, B&O, and then later part of a B&O branch line from Newark to Sandusky. In 1849, the Pittsburgh, Fort Wayne, and Chicago Railway, later Pennsylvania Railroad Main Line, reached Mansfield, and in 1863, the Atlantic and Great Western Railroad, later Erie Railroad Main Line, reached Mansfield. After the B&O branch line was abandoned, the section from Butler to North Lake Park in Mansfield was opened in 1995 as the recreational Richland B&O Trail. The former B&O track from Mansfield to Willard combined with a piece of the abandoned Erie Railroad east of Mansfield to West Salem to form the L-shaped Ashland Railway, 1986. A spur of the abandoned Erie Railroad leads west to Ontario to serve the General Motors metal stamping plant there. Mansfield is located on a major east-west highway corridor that was originally known in the early 1900s as Ohio Market Route 3. This route was chosen in 1913 to become part of the historic Lincoln Highway which was the first road across America, connecting New York City to San Francisco. The arrival of the Lincoln Highway to Mansfield was a major influence on the development of the city. Upon the advent of the federal numbered highway system in 1928, the Lincoln Highway through Mansfield on Park Avenue East and Park Avenue West became U.S. Route 30. On September 1, 1928, 
The Lincoln Highway was marked coast to coast with approximately 3,000 concrete posts set by the Boy Scouts of America. Each post featured a medallion of Abraham Lincoln's profile. One of these concrete markers was erected at curbside in front of Central Methodist Episcopal Church, 378 Park Avenue West. It now stands in downtown Central Park, on Park Avenue's center divider. The Lincoln Highway Association observed the highway centennial in June 2013. The Celebration's Eastern Transcontinental Tour Group visited Mansfield for an overnight stay on June 25 at the Holiday Inn on Park Avenue West, the highway's route through the city. Mansfield is well connected to the interstate highway system. Three highway exits from Interstate 71 connect travelers to Mansfield from Louisville, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio and points southwest, and from Cleveland, Ohio and points northeast. One limited access highway serves Mansfield. U.S. Route 30, which carries the Martin Luther King Jr. Freeway along its length through the city has severalical highway exits from U.S. Route 30 that connect travelers to Mansfield from Portland, Oregon, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Fort Wayne, Indiana and points west, and from Atlantic City, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Canton, Ohio and points east. Two divided highways serve Mansfield. Ohio 309 which connects travelers from the major shopping area of the suburban city of Ontario in points west, and continues east into Mansfield before it merges into U.S. Route 30. Ohio 13 turns into a four-lane divided highway at South Main Street and Chilton Avenue and runs to Interstate 71, full access interchange, and runs another and turns back into a two-lane highway just north of Belleville. The city has several arterial roads. U.S. Route 42 Ashland Road and Lexington Avenue, North U.S. Route 42 Downtown, South Main Street, East 2nd Street, Hedges Street and Park Avenue East, South U.S. Route 42 Downtown, Park Avenue East, Hedges Street, East 1st Street and South Main Street, Ohio 13, North Main Street and South Main Street, North Ohio 13 Downtown, East 2nd Street, South Diamond Street and North Diamond Street, South Ohio 13 Downtown, West 5th Street, North Mulberry Street, South Mulberry Street and West 1st Street, Ohio 39, Spring Mill Street, North Mulberry Street, West 5th Street, East 5th Street, Park Avenue East and Lucas Road, Ohio 430, Park Avenue East and Park Avenue West, and Ohio 545, Wayne Street and Olivesburg Road. The Richland County Transit, RCT, operates local bus service five days a week, except for Saturdays and Sundays. The RCT bus line operates 14 fixed routes within the cities of Mansfield and Ontario along with fixed routes extending into the city of Shelby and Madison Township. Mansfield Checker Cab operates local and regional taxi service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. C&D Taxi also operates local and regional taxi service, Richland and Ashland counties, 7 days a week. Mansfield Lamb Regional Airport, IATA, MFD, IACO, KMFD. FAA LID, MFD, a city owned and operated, joint usage facility with global ties, located north of downtown Mansfield. The Mansfield Lamb Air National Guard Base and the 179th Airlift Wing of the Ohio Air National Guard is located at the airport. It uses huge C 130 aircraft and sponsors an annual air show in July. Area residents take advantage of major airports such as John Glenn Columbus International Airport. Cleveland Hopkins International Airport and Akron Canton Airport. Mansfield has sister city relationships with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.